Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another speed build. So today we are building a cute little one bedroom house. Uh, it's a cottage for, you know, newlyweds, a little couple. It's one bedroom, one bath, and it is on a very small lot in Willow Creek. I thought it fit in this area nicely, but unfortunately I can't call this a starter home because <laughs> if you know me, you know that I'm just, I'm, I'm not about the starter life. <laughs> uh, I just... I don't know. I I like to decorate. I like to to go all out and it's just fun. That's the fun thing about building is decorating and getting creative. So, yeah, um one day I promise though I will do a starter home and try to make it as cute as possible. I promise it's on my to-do list. Um yeah, it's on my to-do list. So, one day. <laughs> I can't promise it'll be anytime soon, but I'm going to work on it. Um, but anyways, this house is, uh, like I said, one bedroom, one bath. It's a small little house, but I think it turned out so, so cute. And I actually got the floor plan. And the floor plan was called Newlywed Cottage or Newlywed something. So, that's kind of where the name came from, which helped me out a lot. Because sometimes I have a hard time naming my builds. Um... Because there's, you know, especially when I do modern houses, I mean, what are you going to call it? It's a modern house. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to think of like creative names and creative themes and creative, you know, families that I'm building the house for to make it a little bit more appealing to you guys. So anyways, yeah, shout out to Pinterest and that floor plan that really helped me out. But I will link that floor plan in the description down below in case you want to check it out and see, you know how accurate I got to the actual house plan but it doesn't have much of a backyard or yard at all I will say just because I did imagine it being technically a starter home for a newly married couple um, and I was actually considering moving my first um well well, it's the second generation of my current household, which is the Not So Very Challenge. I've been working on that in my spare time, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. But I did do a current household update if, probably a couple months ago where I introduced, you know, this is the challenge I'm doing, this is my sim, and her first child, his name is Gabriel, he is not the heir, he's not the second generation Rose generation heir, but um, he's still my baby, you know, they're my current house, and I've been playing them, so he got married, he has a baby on the way, and I was thinking about moving them into this house, but the only thing is, I was ready for them to have a baby, and there's just not room here, so this is idealistic for you know, a family that literally just got married. Maybe they're working on their career a little bit before they decide they want to have kids. Some people do that. That's fine. But, yeah, I just, I think it turned out really cute. It's perfect for that. And the reason I say starter home, but it's obviously not a starter home. I forget how much it is, but I will put that down in the description if I can remember. <laughs> I never, I always say, I'm going to do this. And then I, I realize, oh, you, you did not do that, girl. I know, I'm very forgetful, <laughs> really forgetful, especially with this pregnancy brain, but anyways, I like to call starter homes, to me, houses like this is a starter home in my opinion, even though it's not the price of a starter home, it's still a starter home, it's one bedroom, one bath, okay, and it's a little small lot here, <laughs> and I know a lot of people are like, no, I like to start from scratch, I like to struggle, trust me, your girl loves a good struggle too, I don't like to play with a, you know, mother load times 10 family, I like for them to work, I like for them to pay bills, and have expenses just like in real life, because I like realistic gameplay, but when it comes to realistic gameplay, you think about real life, you know, newlywed couples get nice houses all the time. You finance furniture, you decorate, and it's your first home. That's realistic. Realistically, you're not going to have like a little, you know, well, I mean, sometimes it'll be like a very cheap house, but realistically, you can finance furniture, you can DIY furniture, and that's the way I like to do my starter houses, fun fact. So, yeah, I just, free real estate, move them into whatever house is like a decent starter house based on their career and the story I'm telling, then I set their money to, you know, about 2000 3000 so they have, you know, a little bit of leeway, but, you know, if, if their house is decorated pretty nicely, their bills are going to be kind of expensive, so they're going to have to work, there's going to be a struggle, and it's still realistic, so 
yeah, that's <laughs> what I mean by this is kind of like a starter house. Um, and I wasn't sure about the interior of this house, to be honest with you guys. I knew that I wanted to do kind of like a gray color because I really wanted to use those gray counters with parent parenthood. Yeah, the parenthood pack. I completely 110% overuse those counters. I do. I just can't help it. They're my favorite. Um, I, I love them. The color swatches, they're so pretty. The tile for the kitchen and bathrooms that come with parenthood, I overuse that too. Sorry, that fireplace with parenthood. Yeah, I overuse that. <laughs> it's just one of my favorite packs. It has such nice decor, decor, decoration, furnishings, and I appreciate it. <laughs> but anyways, I definitely struggled a little bit with the living room because I was going for like the gray color, but <sighs> in the wooding, there's also kind of like a hint of cream wood like a you, you, you see what I'm talking about there so I was trying to figure out how I can incorporate that and for some reason the couch um, I think it has to do with which it doesn't look bad now it kind of like flows it flows really nicely right here looking at it but see I put that nice little <laughs> um, candle set you know right there on the coffee table as I usually do because I absolutely adore that decoration it kind of gives it like a, a yellowy creamy hue that was really throwing me off when I was decorating it but I did change my preset for reshade so it doesn't look that bad in my current setting or preset for reshade like I was saying um, so yeah, it looks a little bit different. Um, I'm using Zistel's ColourPop now, which has the same, you know, pop of color, but it's more realistic, and I really, really like that. And this reshade that you're seeing me build and what I've been using is Zistel's Dim. I, I go back and forth between her Dim and Bright setting, and I just absolutely love her reshade settings. They're so nice. So if you have not checked out her reshades um, and you use reshade, go check that out. Um, she has videos showing off all of her presets, and she's very talented at it. I love her presets. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, so the living room has this desk in it because, like I said, it's a very small house. And the bedroom is, like, super duper small, and I couldn't squeeze really anything in there. So I put it there in the living room. And that bookshelf that I actually used, um, you'll see I actually ended up changing that out to the bookshelf that is... It's not as bulgy. Y'all know what I'm talking about when you see it. But that's like my favorite bookshelf to use just because it's not as bulgy. Um, and I really did like the gray color of the one I was originally using. But it just it just looked too big and gawky in that little you know, tiny living room that we was trying to furnish there. So I ended up changing that. And I also gave them some furniture for like a little cat just because I imagined that they would have a pet. And I just furnish a lot for dogs because I'm a dog person. So I decided to switch it up and, um, you know, give them a cat. But Anyways, on to their dining room. I think it turned out nice, their kitchen. I, I don't know. I just, I like this floor plan because it's small, but it has all the rooms. It has a foyer, it has a living room, it has a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, a bedroom, and a bathroom. And it's decorated really nicely, so it's kind of like an ideal starter home for me. I really love the gray and cream and light neutral color scheme, so I had a lot of fun decorating this house, even though I kind of struggled a little bit with the living room but I just kind of had to push past it y'all do y'all ever do that when you're building like you're in a room or whatever room you start off with and it's just you is you can't you can't figure it out like <laughs> you have this idea in mind but then you just can't make it come to life yeah that was me with this build but I pushed past and I think it turned out really nice um I did use the medium wall height just because I figured all the other surrounding houses in this neighborhood um, that I had built on and played with, they were all medium wall height and I kind of wanted it to blend in with the surrounding area because may or may not use this in a save file one day. I don't know. I'm working on it, toying around with the idea, but uh, that's a huge commitment <laughs> and I just envy everybody that can you know grind like that but I'm just not very good at it and I just feel like a lot of pressure when I do that so I, I might just build and just keep doing my speed build since that's what I've been doing lately it's just building 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 and then maybe it may surprise you throw a bunch of builds in whatever worlds they fit in 
you know, they fit in with, and voila. <laughs> um, but I, I do really like the idea of having a save file that is accessible to everybody. I know so many people have save files, but they use every pack and every world, and realistically, not everybody has every single pack. So when you use their save file because you want something different, it's nice, don't get me wrong, I have so many different people's save files in, you know, my game that I like to play with just because I get sick of the same old townies and same old lots. But at the same time, people who don't have, you know, all the packs, they they kind of struggle because they have naked sims walking around. They go into a lot, they're missing stuff. And I like the idea of making it accessible to everybody. So, you know, based on whatever world that... Um, the exp expansion pack that the world came with, just kind of keeping it excluded to that. I think that's a smart idea, a good idea, and I, I do want to do that one day, but like I said, I may just kind of do it in my spare time here and there. It may take a long time. I just don't want to like announce, oh my gosh, I'm doing a save file because I did that and then I kind of got bored with it or intimidated and I stopped. So yeah, I just, I'm not good under pressure. Fun fact, I'm terrible under pressure, which is why I have taken a break from my Let's Plays. And I've had a lot of people ask me, are you bringing this back? Are you bringing this back? I do plan on it. <laughs> Um, I just, I don't know when, probably after the baby's born, <laughs> because, um, the baby will be born in a four months, I'm four months out from giving birth, which you're probably like, oh my god, that's such a long time, like, you're not doing anything, you don't have a job right now, why aren't you doing Let's Plays? Well, it's just, I don't, it's, uh, it's complicated, it's, it's really complicated, like, my living situation, um, it's just, not the easiest for me to just be consistent with a let's play you know what I'm saying I can build all day long and do a voiceover when I have the spare time and it works out perfectly but in let's plays you have to be a little bit more consistent with so that's why I hope you guys understand most of you have been so nice about it but I've still had a few people and I think it's people that um haven't really been watching all the speed builds to know what's going on they're like where's this where, where's this next part and um yeah so anyways <laughs> that's the plan but do stay tuned because i will be having a current household update very shortly <laughs> um so that's kind of like a let's play but it's not really it's different from building i know i've been building a lot so you'll be seeing a little bit of gameplay for me in the sims 4 i've been doing the not so very challenge and i am currently on the second generation and i'm gonna do updates on that every generation so i've given my first generation update so when i give my second generation update i will show you the proof that I accomplished Generation 1, where she is at, and where I'm at with Generation 2, and if Generation 3 is born yet, kind of introduce you to that sim, and then, you know, so on and so on. But anyways, yeah, I've had a lot of fun playing that in my spare time, so I'm a little bit behind on the building grind lately, which for a while I was ahead, but I've been having so much fun playing the Not So Berry, which surprisingly... I, I think it's just the pressure of not recording it and doing it in my spare time that is making it so fun for me. Um, but anyways, <laughs> that's what's going on. And anyways, here we are in their bedroom, which I think turned out really nice. They have that big, spacious walk-in closet there. And um, yeah, like I said, it's, there's not a lot of room, but it's a small house, so it's okay. I put the little heart decorations, uh, wooden decorations right there above the bed since it is kind of like a little newlywed couple's house. I thought it turned out really nice. Um, the only thing that I don't really care for about this floor plan is that the bathroom um, is you have to go through the bedroom to get to the bathroom which realistically if this was a real life house my house or something I would not like that I would not want my guests coming through my bedroom just to use the restroom I like to have you know an ensuite bathroom or a bathroom that's accessible to guests and everybody without having to walk through a bedroom but it's the sims and I need to stop taking things so seriously as if it's real life. <laughs> but anyways, this build is wrapping up. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, 
I think this voiceover was probably really boring because I just like just rambled about stupid stuff. But uh, anyways, I think the house turned out cute. So if you liked it, it is available for download on the gallery. Be sure to check that out. Follow me on there so you can see all of my builds. Subscribe if you have not. Give this thumbs up if you liked it. I think I said that already. I don't know. Uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Bye. Yeah.